Hello everyone, welcome back to another transfer video. Um, obviously today we've had some really sad news this morning. Um, well, for English people, and to be honest with you, around the world, um, Prince Philip has actually died today. Um, obviously, my condolences go to all the royal family, although they probably won't even uh, know who I am. And the majority of the world, they probably don't know who we are. But um, obviously, as, a, as an Englishman myself, I've got to uh, pay respects where... Respect is due. Obviously, he did uh, a lot of work with the army, and um, and anyone who works in the army has to have respect, um, regardless whether they're in the royal family or not. So um, yeah, um, I just wanted to to quickly uh, say that and and get that over with, kind of before we move on to something a little bit more exciting for you boys. So obviously, I've already told you um, that you know the majority of these videos will probably be me. Um, the odd one might be Lee if he cho chooses to do it. Obviously, he's very busy still. Um, I think he's planning on getting some content out soon. Um, I think it's going to be the predicted lineups for next week's game or this week's game. And um, yeah, we might see some some live comment content from Lee. But um, yeah, let's let's get straight into it. So Manchester United, Arsenal, and Leeds have been credited with interest in the 18-year-old left back who has helped their Edinburgh club to third place this season. So some of you might not know who this is, and some of you might know who this is. I think he's been linked to Leicester before, which is quite weird because a lot of your players have already been linked to you. And I think it's like, as I said in the last one, I think Brendan's got his selected list on who he wants and he will keep going back to uh, to the same people if he wants to sign them. Highly rated Hibernian left-back Josh Doig would be encouraged to join Leicester City, the club's owners has said. Uh, so obviously, the owners at Leicester City mean a lot to you uh, as Leicester fans. And um, being an outsider myself, uh, I have massive respect to, to all the Leicester's owners because they've done a wicked job. I mean, obviously, late Vishai did incredible when he was there and his son's kind of taken over and it's almost like he's, his dad's never left. He, he's, he's replaced his dad, as, as sad as it is, in the in most amazing way ever. Um, and he, he's kept your club running. So if the owners want this guy, then I'm, I'm not being funny, but I think you all should be excited because the owners seem to know what they're doing. The 18-year-old has been attracting interest from around England after his performances in the Scottish Premiership this season, with Arsenal, Manchester United and Leeds, like I said before, uh, are all the clubs being linked. City are the latest side to be listed as a suitor for Doig and were said to have scouted the fullback during Hibs' Scottish Cup win over the Queen of the South this week. In response to the interest, the club's owners, Ron Gordon, has said that while he would not want Doig to go cheaply, the reported price tag is £1.5 million. He would not want to stand in the way of his development. So, you know what, that club's clearly uh, marking that £1.5 million is, is expensive. Um, and into the Premier League, that's nothing, is it, really? It's like, a, that's probably like a week's wages, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, if this guy turns out to be really good, 1.5 million is absolutely nothing. And as I keep saying time and time again, Leicester are notorious for turning nobodies into somebodies. So that's nothing. And to have a, a youth player come on, uh, you know, second half to give you a bit of energy, looks like a good signing. Uh, Gordon would be particularly open to him teaming up with his former Celtic boss, Brendan Rodgers. Uh, I think he's been terrific, Gordon said of Doig, during Hibernian's virtu virtual AGM on Wednesday. I love him and I love his energy. Uh, he has tremendous attributes as a player. He's got great speed and a terrific shot. If he ever puts it in, it will be a beautiful thing. Um, obviously, that that's regarding whether he joins a City or not. In just one year of playing time, he's grown and matured. He's more comfortable and confident. I think he's a terrific young man and a great player. I'm excited Brendan Rodgers is interested in him. So, um, obviously, you know, Brendan Rodgers is keen. Your owners are keen. Um, you know, he, I'm guessing uh, the majority of you don't know too much about him. Um, and to be honest with you, he, he plays in the Scottish Prem, so not many people watch that unless you are Scottish, really. So he has kind of gone unnoticed a little bit. But um, from what I've read there, he's obviously played for Brendan Rodgers before. So, uh, you know, that that's a key reason for why Brendan Rodgers is coming back because he's clearly seen the potential in him when he was with him at Celtic. 
Uh, it says here, we have to balance being a competitive team and also not getting in the way of progress. For a kid like Josh, the ability to play for a team like Leicester City is something we have to be behind and co encourage. Um, there is a time for everyone. This is just his first year, so let's wait and see. I'd hope he won't go cheaply, obviously. This is what I mentioned before. I don't think we should undersell our players. Josh is a great player. We are trying to be reasonable, but we don't want to undersell our assets as a club. But we need to find the right balance of what's good for the club and what's good for Josh. After Doig's release by Hearts as a youngster, Edinburgh rivals Hibbs snapped him up, loaning him to Queen's Park last season before bringing him into their first team setup this year. So, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. I mean, 1.5 million, that's, that's nothing, is it, really? And clearly, uh, Brendan Rodgers is pretty keen on him. Um, whether or not he, he could be an integral part to your team, you know, right now, it, it's, you know, quite debatable. He's still quite young. I think it'd be probably one for the future. I mean, to me, it sounds like Brendan's looking for some youth. Um, obviously, with the, the reports I was reporting to you yesterday of the transfers, they're, they're all quite young players, you know, apart from Torvin, who's 28. But he's a World Cup winner, and I think he's got experience behind his belt, which is probably something else that Rodgers is looking for. Um, going back to your owners, however, you know, that they're clearly keen, they've clearly seen something. And if you guys are sitting there thinking, you know, it's not the right decision, your owners know what they're doing. And, um, yeah, if you snap this guy up for 1.5 million and he turns into be something really good, it'll be another prime example of Leicester making incredible profit. Um, and, you know, we might, we might see him in a couple of years time playing for an even bigger club, like what you do usually where you, you turn someone into into a next level Liverpool Manchester United star um, so yeah I think it could be a good thing for you boys and to be honest with you I think Leicester are as Leicester fans I think you'd probably be sitting there thinking you know we don't want to keep training these players into to bigger teams so you know what maybe Brendan Rodgers might have that that output and think you know this is the time where we, we are going to make our own youth players and, the, and they're going to be our own legends for the club not somebody else's club so um who knows? Who knows? Um, I've got some more news for you, hopefully, later today. I'm going to try and release. It all depends, obviously, on, on Lee's content because I don't want to kind of be overloading you because I think what I heard is that there's a there's like a free video uh, like streak and then they won't send notifications anymore after that one. So it will be either tonight or, or tomorrow, depending on Lee's uh, uploads. But, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that little update. Um, I'll, I'll try and update you later tonight about something else that I've read. And um, let me know what you think. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit.